What's happening? Hello world, this is Johnny DeLuca and welcome to your 19th SQL Server tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to disable and drop indexes. So to get started, fire up Management Studio and connect to an instance and we're going to Databases folder, VentureWorks 2012, Tables. Then down to the Sales dot sales order header that we've been going to in our last few tutorials indexes ix underscore sales order header underscore order date right click disable all right now we're just going to click OK and we're done we have now disabled this index now I'm going to show you how to do the same thing Running a T-SQL script. Please copy this code down. Paste it into your query editor and execute it. Save it for later. Okay, as you can see, using VentureWorks 2012, author index, IX underscore sales order header, underscore order date, and we're disabling this. Commands completed successfully. Now I'll show you how to drop, also known as deleting, using Management Studio. So let's just kind of start over here, the beginning, like we just connected. All right, so we would go to Databases, VentureWorks 2012, Tables, Sales Order Header, go right here. And then we see delete. Boom. And we would just click OK to go ahead and delete that guy right there. All right. Go ahead and do that. All right. Now I'm going to show you how to drop an index using a simple P SQL script just like this one. We can Go ahead and get rid of this guy. We don't need him anymore. Whoops, I didn't need to say that. I meant to hit no. Excuse me. There we go. Good to go. New query. Please copy this down We're using AdventureWorks 2012. We're dropping, also known as deleting, this index right here. And we're going to hit execute. Man's completed successfully. So now you are a rock star when it comes to disabling and dropping indexes using SQL Server Management Studio as well as using PSQL scripts. Thanks for stopping by and I look forward to seeing you in my next tutorial. Oh, actually before we go, uh, so just kind of to give a little overview, often an index is created and after some time a DBA or a developer may realize that it's not really needed. So as a result, the DBA or the developer typically will want to remove the index. In some cases, instead of removing the index, it might be a good idea to disable it. This will allow you to verify how performance is affected without actually dropping the index. So a little bit on why we did what we did and some circumstances in which you might want to disable or drop an index. Anyways, thanks again for stopping by, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.